No, let's go three quarterbacks. Three quarterbacks. And, and welcome that, in our next idea. guest, Alex Barcelo, <laughs> the newest uh, cleared and waived player from the NCAA to be available for play. BYU basketball. <laughs> Alex, welcome to Studio B. Congratulations. Yeah. Man. Thank you. No, it's a great feeling. It's great to be here. How did you find out that that waiver was granted, and where were you when you found out? Um, I found out uh, Chad, our compliance guy, he came in at the beginning of practice. I mean, we were all huddled up, ready to hear Coach talk before I give us our pre, pre-practice pre talk. And uh, he asked me, like, how would I feel about playing this year? And I was like, well, I mean, I'd love to play this year. Like, anything to get me to play this year. And he's like, well, get get ready, suit up. <laughs> and then everyone just crowded me. Everyone, like, basically almost tackled me to the floor and was so excited. And, I mean, it almost brought tears to my eyes just because, like, I've been working so hard hard and they wanted this so much and they wanted to play with this team and there's just a bunch of great guys to be with and I'm really excited to play with them this year. Well we're really excited uh, not as excited as you probably right but we're <laughs> stoked because with the Yoli Childs news it, it felt like excessive and now BYU gets a break so um, walk us through the process of what it's like to apply for a waiver and and what you have to do in that. Um, so you basically put together a um, bunch of documents like and submit your case um, however many documents that may be. Uh, what kind of documents are you talking about? Just like uh, like statements from you, from friends, from former teammates, just kind of whatever your case was about, kind of to support that and make sure that it's valid. And then you submit it to the NCAA, and they like kind of review it, maybe send you some follow-up questions back. They sent me a couple follow-up questions that I had to answer. I answered those, turned them back in, and then they sent my whole case over to Arizona, my former school, and then they have um, like about 10 business days to, to make a statement back about it, and then uh, they send it to the NCAA and they make a decision. And, and, and you get it back. They, yeah. And, and do they explain why they give it to you, or they just say, you can play? I'm pretty sure they just said that I could play. Oh, okay. so, yeah. <laughs> <It's improved. laughs> Because right. I'd love yeah. to know why one person does and one person doesn't. So, for example, we're still waiting here on Richard Harward, right? Right. Can he play? So, yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. But maybe no, fingers course. are crossed that, right. that he gets his. Sure. For still, now, still haven't heard back, right? Yeah. We'll yeah. take an eighth scholarship player for this BYU basketball <laughs> team, given everything that has happened. Alex, where do you expect to make the biggest impact on this team this year, given the circumstances of Gavin Baxter being out and Yoli Childs having to sit out the first nine games and so on and so forth? Um, I mean, I kind of focus on my energy. Like, I love to – I mean, my teammates say that I have a dog mentality, so I like to bring uh, just – the energy and the the hard work and player onto the court and try to get guys going, get everyone's energy up. So we're all playing hard. And I mean, it's easy to do on this team because the guys are so phenomenal. I mean, they they bring it every day and it's it's an easy job to do. But I'm very excited for this season and and where we're where we're headed. Mark Pope told us on Basketball Media Day that he was still waiting for the day where you guys either were late or didn't bring it with the energy. Have you had that day yet, or are you still good? No, we're still good. You're still yeah. good. That's amazing. <laughs> what What is that taking as a group to maintain that where this is a grind, where you're going to go until hopefully deep into March, right, um, all the way from September? How do you keep that up every day with this group? I mean, luckily we have a, gr- a great group of seniors. I mean, all, all those seniors, they, they really hold the younger guys accountable. Um, and just, I mean, Everyone, everyone shows up, do, does their job on time, and everyone's ready to go. I mean, we we have everyone on our coaching staff is is great, and they hold us all accountable. So it, it's a really great uh, program to be in. What do you feel like you'll be able to do at BYU that you weren't able to do while you were playing at Arizona? Um, I mean, I don't know. Just I know, like I I, I probably. Get, get a great opportunity here. And uh, I mean, I'm just going to take every day and, and live it in the present and absorb everything and uh, just go out there and give it all that I have. I mean, I, I love this game and I don't know how many years I have left playing this game. Hopefully, I mean, my goals are to play professionally, but I'm, I'm just going to take every day and li- live it in the present and hope for the best. And maybe it is as simple as an opportunity. Because, you know, I mean, if you didn't feel like you got a real opportunity in Arizona, maybe it's you come to BYU so you can get that shot. I'll answer for you. It's more minutes. (laughs) It's more minutes. It's more shots. Uh It's more Uh everything. Uh That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Were you nervous about this process? Did you think you'd get a waiver? Um, I was a little bit nervous just because I I don't don't know with the NCAA. I mean, they have a tendency. Neither do we. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, thankfully, they they granted me it. And uh, 
I mean, I was just, I was working every day like I was going to play this year. I mean, even if I didn't play this year, I was going to continue to work that hard um, just to prepare the entire year. Um, but it was definitely a blessing that it came through, and, and I'm ready to go. Oh, man, all of UA Sports Nation, super stoked that uh, that you get the waiver. Do you have, like, a, like uh, someone that's consulting with you when you're filling out this paperwork? Do you have, like, a, is, is Chad William? Is it the compliance team? Like, who, do you have to do all this by yourself, or do you have a team of people around you helping you put together these documents? Oh, no, I mean, we, we have great help here at BYU. I mean, Chad it was helping me. My coaches were helping me. Just, like, it, it was an unbelievable, I mean, process and I had I didn't do anything by myself I mean I had great help along the way sure well Mark Pope's a smart guy too right so <laughs> yeah, yeah he's very the perfect smart. guy to consult with <laughs> exactly and Mark's a guy that transferred for a better opportunity right a guy from Washington to Kentucky and I think that worked out right for a national championship yeah I remember watching him as a player going oh that guy's a uh, Mormon yeah that was awesome um do, do you uh immediately join the I'm playing guys in practice and you leave your team of Yoli, Richard, Harward, and uh, Wyatt, and so on, that were the practice squad, if you will? Do you now shift to the I'm playing team? Uh, I mean... I, and you mixed I, it up, right? Yeah, no, I did. I mean, but I there was, was a group of we're sitting out Yeah, there was, a, there was a red shirt group. Um, there was a red shirt group. And, and we would practice every day, and I was on that squad, and then... You've now defected to the I'm playing group? <laughs> I mean, I didn't, like... I didn't... The When, when we heard after practice, I, Jake came over to me, and he took off my jersey and flipped me over to that squad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it yes. just, I mean, he put a big smile on my face. That's so. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, you get a play. Leave those yeah. clowns over there. Oh, that is really funny. <laughs> okay, I feel like you're a dangerous man, meaning that you, that you are a better player than the opportunity you got at Arizona and that you will take advantage of this. Am I off in that in terms of you want to prove yourself now that you have a, a different opportunity? Am I off? I, I definitely want to prove myself um, just because, I mean, obviously my, my opportunity will hopefully be bigger here. Um, but, I mean, I just, like, I, I feel like I'm a hard worker and I, and I love to work hard every day and I, and I put everything into this game. So I'm, I'm just hoping that it plays out. And, uh, I mean, we have a great support system here and a great group of guys. So I'm just, I'm just happy that I get to play with them and alongside them. So. The advantage of going small is you can have more shooters and you can be quick, right? The disadvantage is rebounding, perhaps, or, you know, the good post player to defend him or whatnot. Give us an idea of the sense of what this team is kind of figuring out as you evolve without Yoli Childs for nine games and then bring him back and perhaps we'll be okay, even though it's kind of Yoli Childs and uh, you could say Dalton Nixon, Colby Lee down low. Yeah, uh, definitely rebounding is what we're stressing right now. Um, I mean, we work hard on it every day. Um, defensively, we're getting better every single day. Coach Pope is a great defensive coach, and he, he knows what he's talking about in every aspect of the game. Um, but we're definitely stressing uh, just being up in people uh, defensively, getting on, crashing the offensive and defensive glass, and then pushing it in transition. One, one thing that I love about this team is we're great in, in transition, and hopefully we're going to be a very quick team. BYU guard Alex Barcelo with us on BYU Sports Nation. You look at the guard line right now of TJ Haas and uh, Zach Selyus eventually, who will be joining the team after he comes off of a broken foot. And then you had Jake Toulson, Jesse Wade, and now yourself. How does that guard rotation work, or how will it work with, uh, with you five primary guards out there? Um, I mean, everyone brings something different to the table, and uh, I think we all complement each other well. So whoever's in the game, I mean, I know that they're going to be playing – playing their hardest and uh, I mean just going out there and, and everyone has the same mindset the mindset is to win so I mean do you prefer the point do you prefer a wing like what, what do you like to do um, I mean I like to play point but I mean I, at the end of the day like I, I, I just think of it as I'm a basketball player so whatever I had to do to help the team win I'm, I'm going to go out there and do what comes to mind emotionally uh, what do you feel when you think about an exhibition Friday yeah. And then eight days from now the season opener that you get a play in now. <laughs> it's, it's honestly like I don't know if it's hit me yet that I, that I still get to play this year, but um, it, it's just such a, an exciting thing to think about. And uh, I'm ready. Like, I'm going to take the exhibition game as, as a real game day, and it, and it counts uh, whether it does or it doesn't. But I'm just I'm going to leave it out on the floor and, and give it everything I got. Alex, we're stoked for you, man. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for that exhibition <laughs> game day and then uh, beyond, man. We're, we're thrilled for you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Alex. Both on BYU TV, by the way. Friday, Tuesday. Let's go. <laughs>